completely forget how I get that kind of brick. Oh, it's probably any rock, don't I? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. That'll do. That's all I need. Sergeant Budkinson, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime. That's really kind of you. Thank you. Really, really appreciate it. Oh, and also, I absolutely need to uh, double check something. Uh, something I haven't opened up already is my rewards. Let's have a have a look at... Oh, no. I don't want to manage rewards. I want to look at the queue. Have we already got some malls? Oh, dear Lord, we already do. Very well. Very well. We've got moors. It looks like two moors already. Do correct me if I'm wrong about that. Because I hadn't uh, opened that up at time. But Randvac is best. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. I'm not at all sure that Randvac is best. Vac. Uh, I bought a bunch of Dynasty stuff um, from the merchant. Fits perfectly. I can even have some nice wall hangings, perhaps. We'll see about that. Right. Let's go and have a quick a chat with the merchant. I really wish traps doors would open as well in the same way that uh, the automatic doors do, because that has been such a massive help. Right. I would like to know, first and foremost, what can I make? Let's have a proper look. Okay, so uh, the dynasty door. I'm not I'm not big on the dynasty door. The dynasty walls are okay. They can make for some nice areas. And the platforms may actually work well with some other stuff. Dynasty chess. Dynasty piano. Not bad. Dynasty sofa. Dynasty sink. Dynasty clock. Dynasty bookcase. I like that. Dynasty bathtub. Candle. Dynasty Lantern, there's quite a soft light from those. Dynasty Cup, okay, okay, that's that's not bad. Not bad at all. Can I do anything with these? Are these even materials? I don't think they are. No, they're not. Um, these are, though. Can't be made into anything else. Uh, what can I make this into, just out of curiosity? Stone door. Hmm. Wasn't aware of that one. Okay. We got a bit of info there. Let's have a quick look at... Oh, my God. There's a lot more stuff now. Coffin minecart. Hmm. Living wood bookcase, of course. Yum, yum, yum. Uh, silver axe, silver pickaxe, so on and so forth. What? Frozen campfire. Life regen is increased when near a campfire. Yes. Demon campfire. Icor campfire. Cursed campfire. Rainbow campfire. Ultra bright campfire. Bone campfire. Desert campfire. Coral campfire. Corrupt campfire. Crimson Campfire, Hallowed Campfire, Jungle Campfire, uh, Marshmallow. Oh, I. What? How many can you fit in your mouth? Uh, I'm not sure. I've never tried to to stuff my mouth with with marshmallows. I I, I assume. As much as the next, but I, I don't know. Is there some sort of technique I would need to be aware of? Um, so glass and iron to make that. Let's have a look. That grandfather clock does look nice, but does it match up much to the dynasty one? That does look ultra fancy, though, doesn't it? I mean, come on. Come on. Chubby bunny? What? I can fit a marsh mouthful of marshmallows in my mouth. See, Demi of Derp, well done. No, I I guess there's uh, chubby bunnies. It's not a Welsh thing, I suppose. Small addendum to how the ammo box works. There are a few gun-like weapons that are classed as magic weapons rather than ranged weapons. Check the damage type. Ammo box only applies to weapons that do range damage. Ah, thank you very much, Grimnir Half Dwarf. Jochen Wout. Uh, I'm back with absolutely no context in my conundrum pick. Either yes or no. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to go and make myself a door because I want to make a bedroom for my, for my house. I mean, I could... See, that's such a beautiful tree, though. And I, and I don't want to 
risk the possibility that I would lose that if, like, I wouldn't be able to plant another one of those. That would be very, very sad. Oh, well. Right, let's go and get myself a regular door. Just one regular door, please. That means, ooh, maybe my bedroom could have more of the, uh, more of the dynasty kind of feel. I wouldn't necessarily be against that, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I want uh, the Dynasty Grandfather Clock if I can. Dynasty Clock right there. Huam. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Uh, Dynasty Chest does look nice. I'm not going to lie. What are you thinking, chat? Should we go with a bit of a Dynasty theme in my bedroom? We've got that lamp. We could definitely see how it works. I've got two doors uh, because I am going to want them. Ah, you thought I had made a mistake, didn't you? Well, you thought wrong. I have a cunning plan. Oh, I mean, it's... <laughs> okay, I guess it isn't cunning per se, but it is a plan. Uh, also, I don't like the the fireplace being this close up against the uh, wall, so I'm going to just drive this back a little bit before I enact my cunning plan. Cunning, not so cunning plan. That should be far enough back, I think. The only sadness down here, as beautiful as this place is, is it so far, it's underground. I mean, I could have windows, but it would look weird. But it is going to be a bit sad not to have that natural light down here, I'm going to be honest with you. There we go. Right, so door number one. Donk. Now, actually, let me try and replace the wood on that side so that that door... Mm, doesn't quite work, does it? Now, one way or tether, I'm going to have to have that as something else. Oops, that is not quite where I wanted to put it, but uh, that'll do. Let's get rid of that. Uh, actually, I could have brick as the boundary tile. That might not work too badly. It's not quite what I was going for. I'll consider it. We could also do something similar with that. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Now, I'm going to want a way down from here into my workshop area. And also across to my bedroom. And that is the cunning plan. I, okay, yeah, no, I guess not cunning, but still. Like I said, it is a plan, though. Uh, I could even make, try and make a spiral staircase. Try and make something really, really fancy. Hmm. Spire staircase chat? Oh no. Spire staircases uh you kinda have to fiddle around a little bit to get the impression of that, but Uh, we probably will see Kenchi more someday. Yeah, absolutely. Spiral staircase is the way to go always. Okay, okay. We'll 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 see what we can do then. I will see what I can do, but I'm gonna need a different type of lamp for that space. Let's go and see what we can make. I really wish that uh, maybe the dynasty lantern. You know what? Sure, let's grab a dynasty lantern. I really wish uh, these spaces were a little bit more um, useful in that regard. Uh, like, you could craft with any chest that was nearby rather than having to have it open, because that does limit a lot of choice. Makes it a, quite a lot harder, actually. Let's get a bunch of this. Right, so you're, you're wanting... You're wanting something of a of a spiral staircase. We can we can absolutely make this happen, but I'm going to want different types of platforms because I feel that the platforms interact really nicely. 
Uh, and for the time being, let's keep with this because it almost looks like you've got golden, like you know, caps to the the stairs. And I think that's actually pretty cool. Right. Okay. Let's go and grab some of these uh, these stars. So I got a plentiful supply of gems, arrows. Oh no, poor owl. Much sad. Later on, we'll pop the shingles up top, but for the time being, I, I think we're good as we are. Well, right, let me jump up. No, no. I want to try and see if I can no leap up the side. No, it's that half block does have a uh, hitbox the same size as a regular block, so it does make it a little bit more awkward. Right, so for the stairs, let's uh, go with something really nice. Uh, gonna want to lower the stairs down a little bit, I think. Something like this, and we're gonna have the Dynasty Lantern about there. Oh, that's actually pretty. That's really pretty. I like it. There, that there. Okay, so the way I'll I'll do the uh, I'll do the spiral staircase first, just to show how it's done, because there's a bit of a knack to it. Now, having a spiral staircase works better on a larger, on a much uh, longer descent. This won't quite show it off, but I suppose I can add more rooms to my house. Starting to feel a little bit bad though about the squalor that my residents are living in while I have this, you know, multi-room mansion. But we'll get to them soon enough. I promise. We will make it right. Come on, let, let me through. There we go. Right. So, for the sake of actually having a way down, I guess I'll uh, pop these down to start with, just so I can uh, work a little bit easier. You want a central column that is going to work with whatever your chosen type of background is, uh, sorry, your platform is. Now, you can use these. You've got to understand that these do not allow for things to be placed in front of them. So I can't put it there, for example, by the lantern. And we want to create the illusion of depth. And again, we're, we're playing on a two-dimensional game and we're trying to create this kind of fake background now for all of its other faults one of the things starbound does really well is it has different types of blocks for back and front of pretty much every type every type of uh, block has a foreground and a background variety and it allows for so much creativity when you're building crazy amounts of creativity this will do again Making a spiral staircase is so much better when you have a full. Um, oh, that is not what I want to do. Uh, when you have a full area to play with, I actually need a bench, a workbench. Make a little workbench for now. Pop that just for there, for the time being. Uh, actually, no, I don't. That was that was very silly of me. I can make these out of my pocket. Can I? Yes, I can. Palmwood platforms. There we go. Still, I, I want the workbench anyway, so it's fine. Now, this is going to be our center point for our spiral staircase. Now, this may not be quite large enough, I'm going to be honest. Um, but we'll we'll try and make it work. At the very least, I can I can express how you would make this work, even if I can't quite do it right. Okay, I want to up now one of the better ways of doing a spiral staircase is to have the spiral happening much closer together so something like this yeah i'm gonna need to make this wider aren't i so this central column is the is the the center point of the stair um and because i haven't really made this column quite that wide Again, it's it's not really going to have the, the same effect, but I'm hoping that it'll at least illustrate what I'm trying to do. 
and then down here you would have these again as if it's spiraling around like so something like this uh, it is not my best work by far and away not my best work but it's good enough for the sake of demonstration i feel And now, it appears, or it's starting to appear, as if the spiral is actually coiling around the structure. So this has now become our central pillar. Spiral staircase to hell. I mean, that is absolutely the sort of thing I would do. Yeah. Like in, in Minecraft, you know, I, I put pit props and, and stuff like that because I feel that a mine should look like a mine. It shouldn't just be a hole that you dug into the mountain. But at the same time, that would take so long to do. So long. But... I feel that this, you know, gets a really nice effect. Again, the effect is, it's, it's like all sorts of art, really. Um, the larger the, the surface you have to play with, the better the effect you can achieve. The, the better feeling of that effect. Um, but this, this will work. It gets us down to here, which is roughly where I wanted it to, to lead to. So there we are. Spiral staircase going down into the cellar. Excuse me while I have a sneeze. Oh, it's purely just for looks, Risky Yin. Uh, purely just for looks. There is no functional benefit to this on any level. Uh, it's it's just nice. Um, or, you know, I think it's nice. Uh, right, so, along with that, I would like to pop some wood there, wood there. And then I want to use my hammer, which I don't have with me because I'm an idiot. Is that a golden scorpion? No, it's a regular scorpion. No mind. I was about to add another pet to my collection, my menagerie. Again, one of the, the biggest things, I, like, the spiral staircase is, is a cool, neat trick. But really, for me... The biggest trick is uh, making use of multiple different styles of platform. Use different materials because they will have a drastic effect on the way it, that things look. That's the biggest design tip that I can offer you in Terraria. Is combine and use them as caps. Combine different types of of uh of materials because it can have such an amazing effect and this is one of the things that i discovered in my uh let's play with metacelline when i combined glass and marble it was glass in the middle and marble on the ends because like palm wood marble has this almost kind of goldy effect it looks like the, the platform is capped on the end with gold it's like gilded but the glass has a clear effect and it makes such an amazing amazing looking platform it is wonderful really can't stress how good how how uh, good it, it is so uh, that, that's my that's my tip for you now if i pull back the uh, edges a little bit you get rid of the connected textures for the palm wood uh, platforms and it improves the effect even further there we go look at that look at that chat what do you think good good enough Awful. I should be ashamed of myself. Where 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 do we sit on the uh, aesthetic ometer? Definitely need to bring this down. So this leads to what will be my workshop, I'm thinking over there. Maybe storage and maybe something similar on this side. 
And to that end, we're going to have uh, solid stone floors down here as well. I might switch back to, to wood on the inside. A plus. Needs lighting. Yeah. Yeah, it does definitely need a little bit of lighting. I, I agree with you there. But at the same time, there's a part of me. It's like, eh, does it though? Would it would it really uh suffer for having this uh this little area be a little bit darker as you descend into the depths? And there's a part of me that's like, hmm, kinda like the idea of having this all all uh dark down here. You know, a little test of courage every time you decide to go down into the cellar. Cellars need to look dark, damn it. How else are the the goblins gonna jump out at you if you if you brightly light all of your cellars? Come on now. Think of the goblins. They already have a hard enough life as it is. You don't need to add to it. Oh, poop if I run out. Yeah. Okay. The one downside with the spiral staircase like that is because there are so many platforms, you can't just jump down. It's just a do -do 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 into the depths. Oh. Oh, that's fine. I want two more doors. Uh, actually, I'm going to go with palm wood doors this time. I okay, that'll do. Havoc, did you move away from the mic? You seem to have gotten quieter since you adjusted the volume. Um, no, not particularly, but I can move the microphone a little bit closer again. Uh, or I can turn up my uh, my volume once more. Let me try. Maybe I'm maybe I'm mumbling a little bit less animatedly. I should try boreal wood for the central column. Hmm. Yeah. That'd be nice. And yeah, the the idea of candles burning in the alcoves is actually quite a nice one. Uh, it's the it's the. Well, I guess I could try. Um, my concern there is that I don't have much room to play with alcoves, but I've already made uh, an, a kind of a... I've made a little bit of a, a double thick wall anyway, just for the door, so I guess. No, I'm not sure, I'll grab two. And since I was already using Dynasty, I may as well continue with that, that uh, trend. Let's grab some more regular wood. There we go. And then that's me out of wood, which is unfortunate. I need to go get more relatively soon. Womp. But yeah, I had considered the oh the idea of oh, damn dragon blast. I'll be right back. I try not to clutter my inventory with stuff I'm not going to use, and then I don't clutter it with the things that I am going to use, which is uh, not great. Uh, rock. Let's grab all of you. I would like to make grey brick, please. Not out of that. That should be enough. I just got louder. Maybe I was mumbling. Or I just uh, increased my uh, audio gain a little bit. But I'll, I'll just twitch it down just a tad. Because I'm a little bit nervous about having it that loud. But we'll see how it goes. Right. So. A little alcove around here I do this all the time in colony survival as well big fan of having little little nooks and crannies for, for lamp la uh, lanterns and the like actually let's keep that there because we are gonna need quite a lot of this in a moment Right, so, I'm going to want the candles about here, I'm going to say. On either side. Maybe a touch lower, actually. Yep. And then we'll fill this in. Did I really run out? Oh, my lord, really? Blech. Can I not? Oh, does this have to be on a surface? Oh, no. Maybe it needs more room than I can give it there. Hmm. No, go there, okay. 
Oh, it has to be on him. Oh, that's frustrating. We're okay. We can work with this. We can work with it. Just gonna have to make the alcove a bit bigger. In fact, what I can do is I can make it... Oh, can I not? Oh, that's a shame. I was hoping that I could uh, make it into a different kind of half block there and it would work. But this will effectively do... It's not quite as good as I would have liked, but... Oh, well. Right, let me go and grab uh, some more wood then. And I reiterate, I'm feeling like a bit of a scallywag with regards to my uh, my residents and the fact that they're all living in squalor and I've got this massive mansion down here. Uh, this isn't modded. Uh, no, that lol chick. This is uh, Vanilla Terraria, just playing with the new update. You don't, you're not sure if you like those um, tea lights. Mm, yeah, I'm not as keen on them as I thought I would be, honestly. Maybe regular candles. I could even have golden candles if I, if I wanted to. Maybe I should. We'll see. If they want it better, they should make it themselves. I mean, yeah, I guess that, that's fair. Uh, nope, don't want to play. I'll do. Shade wood candles. You know what? I have no idea about those. I wonder what, uh, what candles would look like. Uh, palm wood candles. You know what? Let me let me make one and place it somewhere just so I can have a look. See, the problem with the candles is either way, I need to stick them on, on something, and it, it's not as good. A lantern of some sort would be better. You know what? On, an honest-to-goodness torch might be more than enough. Either way, let's experiment a bit and find out what's what. I'll just finish off uh, popping down the background in here. Like so. But let's have an experiment then. If I get rid of that and I just pop an honest to goodness torch in there. A torch would be able to sit lower down as well. I'm a something of a fan of popping a torch behind a glass block as well. What do you think, chat? Just regular torches? For now? Might be worth having the candle uh, alcoves at different heights to match the sweep of the staircase and preserve or enhance the illusory 3D effect. That is fair, actually, yeah. Might, might be worth it. Uh, real hand tarot, not yet, I'm afraid. Real life has kind of gotten in the way. Uh, the candles have to be set on a platform, which is uh, not ideal, I'm going to be honest with you. Really not ideal. It's kind of get in the way a lot, in fact. Uh, right, I should have two doors. Let's pop one there, and pop one there. And then continue this kind of pattern over there. I can't really do too much about that. But that'll stay as is for now, because I want to get my bedroom done. Because right now I don't have a respawn place that isn't just regular spawn. Now, 
This would be a good place for my clock, maybe. Also a bathtub. I'm thinking having a nice uh, bathtub in the bedroom. If I can be clever about it, I might even be able to make it look like underfloor heating. You know, how swanky is that? A heated bathtub? An automatically heated bathtub? What, what age do we live in? This is the future, people! <laughs> 